It's hard to believe, but it's almost 40 years since Kings basketball moved from Kansas City to Sacramento. And tonight we are talking to the architect of the very first team in Sacramento. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera caught up with former head coach Phil Johnson, and he also reveals a little known connection to the coach. October 1985. Take On Me is the number one song. Back to the Future is the year's biggest movie. And 44-year-old Phil Johnson is the Sacramento Kings' first ever head coach. I was impressed, first of all, how the enthusiasm was for, for getting a team there. You know, it was just really exciting. Johnson first coached the then Kansas City Omaha Kings from 1973 to 1978. He was fired but rehired to coach them again in 1984. In 1985, I happened to be a young college intern, yes, that's me, at another TV station in Sacramento when I was told to pick up the new Kings basketball coach at a hotel for his very first media interview. You said, what can you tell me about Sacramento? You didn't know anything about it, did you, at the time? Not really, other than it was the capital of the state of California, and uh, mm -hmm. I'd never been there. Johnson's team practiced at the humble confines of Yuba College in Linda. At the same time, the Kings' future home, Arco Arena, was still being built. We had Reggie Theus and, and uh, uh, Eddie Johnson and LaSalle Thompson. We drafted Joe Klein, mm -hmm. and Joe had a hard time his first couple of years playing and ended up just being a backup in, in the league. Old archival footage from our ABC 10 library shows when the players first arrived, they were, well, treated like kings. There was lots of excitement in the city. It's a great thing for Sacramento. This is just the beginning. I'm excited, I'm really excited. I hope to see Sacramento's future. And the future was good in Johnson's first year in Sacramento, taking the Kings to the playoffs. They didn't make it past the first round, and things, well, went downhill from there. We had some uh, good players that we decided we, we could upgrade, but in, in hindsight, it was wrong moves, bottom line. We, we didn't improve our team, we got worse. After an 11-32 start in the second year, Johnson was fired again, but went on to coach the Utah Jazz as an assistant coach from 1988 to 2011. While there, he was named the NBA's top assistant four times. He retired in 2011. Coach Johnson says the single biggest impact since he left coaching over a dozen years ago is this. The three. The emergence of the three-point shot is just, and the spacing of the floor because of that, it makes it very difficult to defend teams. And yes, he closely follows today's Sacramento Kings. They've got an excellent roster. Uh, they've got guys that can play and, and, and they, look, they look like they're having fun playing the game. <laughs> I think Kurt had fun with that one, oh, huh? so good. So good. <laughs> Coach Johnson says he still stays in contact with a lot of the players he coached. Yeah, he is now 81 years old and lives with his wife in Salt Lake City. He says in retirement, quote, <laughs> every day is like Saturday. 